at 10. Good evening, everyone. Another death row inmate is executed by the electric chair. 61 year old David Earl Miller was pronounced dead at 725 this evening. He was convicted in the 1981 death of 23 year old Lee Standifer of Knoxville. Now, News Channel 5's Chris Conti witnessed the execution. We're going to get to him in just a few moments. But first, we want to go to our own Jason Lamb, who has covered the Miller case for us. He is live outside Riverbend Prison, where Miller was executed earlier tonight. Jason. That's right, Miller was put to death in the electric chair for those crimes. His last words were, quote, beats being on death row. That was the word from witnesses who told us what went on inside the execution chamber. Miller was on death row for beating and stabbing 23-year-old Lee Standifer to death with a fireplace poker. Earlier today, Governor Bill Haslam said he would not commute Miller's sentence to life in prison without parole, and the U.S. Supreme Court also chose not to intervene. Someone said to be a victim or perhaps friend or family member from Ohio wrote a statement which was read tonight. That person saying, quote, after a long line of victims, he is left. It is time to be done. It was time for him to pay for what he has done to Lee. Now, one of the media witnesses there tonight described the five minute waiting period after the warden ordered the electric shocks. A after the, the shocks, of, it's, a, it's really an extended period that we're sitting there looking for any signs of life. The warden is standing in the corner of the room. We're looking around, looking for any signs of movement of fingers or, or the, the belly rising and falling. Didn't see any of that. I mean, you, you could maybe see a little tremor of the, the shroud, but uh, it probably just air moving in the room. It seemed like um, he was uh, entirely motionless. Now, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor said today she would have given Miller a stay of execution. She was critical of a Supreme Court ruling that requires inmates themselves to prove the availability of an alternative to lethal injection. One of the reasons she says there are inmates picking the electric chair now in the first place. In her dissent today, she said, quote, such madness should not continue. Now, one of the media witnesses to see Miller be executed tonight was News Channel 5's own Chris Conti. And Chris, you told me here about a month ago that this is obviously a very somber and very rare thing to witness. So first, how are you doing tonight? Well, Jason, of course, this is a very sobering experience, right? I mean, to think about the fact that you are the last face that someone is going to see before they take their last breaths on this earth. And there are a few lingering questions throughout all of this. Was it instant and did he suffer? Those questions, of course, we will probably know, never know the answers to. This was all very methodical tonight. It all started at around 7, 12 p.m. when we were brought inside of the media witness room. At that point, we saw some of the prison guards from TDOC take what can only be described as an incredibly large sponge. It was soaked in water and they placed it on the top of the head of David Miller. At that point, you saw water begin to cascade down his face, across his eyes, and down his chest. And then a large leather helmet was strapped across his head and secured below his chin. A few moments later, the first jolt of electricity entered his body. By my count, about 20 seconds went by as David Miller's body stiffened up, essentially, came off of the electric chair, stayed there for about 20 seconds before uh, he went limp and came back down to the chair. It was at that, uh, that moment uh, that I continued to look for any signs of life, looking at his stomach, uh, at his mouth, trying to see uh, if he was breathing at all. Uh, and then another jolt of electricity went through the body of David Miller. We sat there in silence for about five minutes uh, as his body lay lifeless in front of us on the electric chair, uh, at which point the blinds were lowered to the media witness room and we heard the warden say that the uh, sentence of David Miller has been carried out. His time of death was 7.25 p.m. And with that, his time on this earth came to a conclusion, of course, in stark contrast to the way that Lee Standifer died all those years ago when he killed her uh, with that fire poker. Rory. Uh, just a very sobering experience to know uh, that this was the way uh, that he died here tonight, but it was all very methodical and by the book, and it all went as planned. Chris, I know Miller's attorneys, they'd always argued that David Miller was abused, both physically and emotionally as he grew up, and they brought that up again tonight. A stunning line that I read in an article that was published in the Knoxville News Sentinel 
earlier this week, uh, and it simply said that David Miller started drinking in the womb. Uh, his mother was an alcoholic. She drank while she was pregnant. Uh, and everyone that you talk to says that David Miller just really had no fair chance at life. He was abused by nearly everyone uh, who he trusted throughout the course of his life. And his attorney still again tonight harped on the fact that he had a psychotic episode when he carried out this crime all of those years ago. I know this is not an assignment that anyone in the media takes lightly. Uh, what is going to stay with you most about witnessing this? Uh, Rory, I, I think it's just how uh, methodical all of this was. In a sense, uh, it was uh, almost as though uh, David Miller was dehumanized in a way because uh, in the moments prior to those electric volts being coursed through his body, uh, TDOC officials took a large black cloth and placed it in front of his face. So at the moment that David Miller took his last, last breath here tonight and when he was electrocuted, we actually could not see his facial expression. So there was no real way for us to tell exactly uh, what he looked like as he died here tonight. Uh, but again, it was really just how simple all of this seemed to appear from the outside, uh, even though David Miller's life ended here tonight. Roy, Chris, thank you for your insight. We appreciate it. All right, we have a quick recap now on the death of David Earl Miller. At 7.12 this evening, a blind was raised. Witnesses saw Miller strapped into the electric chair. He was given two jolts of electricity four minutes later at 7.16. Miller was pronounced dead at 7.25. You can see a full wrap-up of our coverage of this execution right now on NewsChannel5.com.